behaviors, I have a problem. Besides the moss growing on my roof here, which I want to clean off, I have yellow jackets living in the wall of my house, right next to where I want to clean the moss. And if that isn't bad enough, random yellow jackets are coming inside the house somehow, maybe through the wall and up through the trim, I don't know. But I want to get rid of them. I've already tried to uh, spray yellow jacket killer in through the hole there, but it didn't really have much effect. Uh, I tried to set up yellow jacket traps around the hole here and they weren't attracted to those at all. So I'm going to try another method that I saw in a YouTube video. I'm going to try to vacuum them up with a shop vac. So here's my shop vac. I've already prepared it. I've added a few inches of water into the bottom of there and I added some uh, liquid dish soap. Uh, the liquid dish soap, it dissolves the waxy coating on their exterior and then they die. So the plan is that they'll get sucked in there, go in the water and then die. Now the tricky part is to get the nozzle of the hose right next to the hole so that the yellow jackets coming out of the hole and going back into the hole get sucked up into the hose. Now the hole where they're coming out of is just right around this corner here. So I set up this little uh, planter hanger here and I hooked a pair of vice grips on the top to create a little Y. So hopefully I can rest this uh, shop back hose extension right in that Y and have the no nozzle of the hose sitting right next to the hole. Well, I got this thing hooked up. I have the nozzle right next to the hole. And it's been sucking up yellow jackets as they try to go back in the hole or as they try to come out of the hole. And uh, I'll just leave this thing running for hours until it sucks up all the yellow jackets. And here's the setup here is I have the nozzle right next to the hole and I have the little extension just resting on that little plant hook. It, it's working. Well, I had the vacuum running continuously for about three or four hours till I stopped seeing any activity going in or out of the hole. I even banged on the wall a little bit. A few more came out, but that was it. I doubt I got all of them, but I think I got most of them. So let's check out to see what we got here. Well, I actually expected there'd be a lot more of them, but maybe the nest wasn't as big as I thought. Uh, but they're in there dead. The water with the dish soap kills them, and better them being dead in here than in my wall or in my house. Uh, it seemed to work uh, really well. 
That being said, if you do something like this, you do so at your own risk, but it did seem to work. Uh, anyway, now that I have this done, maybe I get back to working on bikes again. Um, hope you found this video useful or interesting. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed to my channel, click the subscribe button. You see new videos to come out, and I'm always coming out with new, new videos, mostly bike stuff. I'm over on Facebook, RJ the Bike Guy. Go over there, like that page. I post a ton of stuff over there, and I have a webpage, rjthebikeguy.com. Go over there, sign up for that page. I have stuff over there as well. Anyway, thank you very much for watching.